I have to confess, I know nothing of Sue Grafton except I saw her name every time I went to a Walmart or a Lucky or Kroger, any place there were books and magazines, there was Sue Grafton's name and that is how I got to know her. And it really says something to a writer's talent that their books are so popular that and their unit of having an agent and a book publisher and a distributor is so great that their name can be put in your face without me having never seen them you know on television or seen one of their books turn into movies like you know John Grisham or something like that or in fact I was reading this account about uh, Sue Grafton and she said that she would never ever I think when when her book W is for wasted <laughs> that's funny she would never have one of her books turned into a TV or a movie because she said those clowns would tear it apart I'm quoting her and I have to admit from my little teeny experience at screenwriting I wrote a screenplay called the system uh, and I sent it to William Morris and uh, directed it Alan Gasmer this was 1987 88 Alan Gagsmer at the time was the hottest spec script salesperson in Hollywood. And I got his reader to read it. Sadly, I bugged his reader to death, but a few years later, around 2010, I got a call from someone who wanted to ask me about my time working in the mayor's office because they had a screenplay they were working on. And when this person started talking to me about the script it sounded really a lot like what i had put together for the system and i thought hey wait a minute hollywood has a way of taking your stories and watering them down and altering them into something that in some cases is unrecognizable and i believe that's what sue grafton was referring to when she said she didn't want those quote clowns unquote to get a hold of her material amazing that she could become so successful and write so prolifically and never once have any of her works turned into a TV movie or motion picture film. Bravo for her. Sue Grafton, she lived 77 years, died of cancer, sad that she didn't make it into her 80s or 90s. 90s would be fantastic. Look, Stan Lee's 95 years old. I don't know how that works. But anyway, we've lost another Sue Grafton, another great one, Sue Grafton, a signpost on the guy on the Zeitgeist. See ya.